Okay, I'm playing uh, Root Beer Tapper. Um, you know, I, I tried it out for the discussion post and actually really liked it, so I wanted to uh, do my recording based on that because I thought there was a lot of positives. And uh, so I'm going to go through that one. Just uh, I just started the game here, gave myself a few credits, and I'm going to unpause now. Start now. Okay. So first thing is just the graphics are compared to uh, <clears throat> compared to you know like Space Invaders and stuff. This seems like leaps and bounds beyond those. It's, the kegs are easy to make out. The patrons that are asking for the beers are definitely um, you know <laughs> okay that was a little tough. To get both of those, but you gotta be quick. It's um, I think one thing about this area is just it really relies on you know you really have to have a quick draw. Um, but uh, yeah, the bar the graphics great. Um, and the gameplay is not. Ultra frustrating. Once you get used to it, <sighs> then it's not so bad. Sorry, I'm pausing here. Um, <clears throat> the bartender, you know, he looks like Mario, uh, which is pretty great. I think this is actually pre Mario Mario, or maybe that was, um, I mean, you know, it's just a riff on Donkey Kong, but. Uh, <clears throat> you know, yeah, the main character looks pretty cool. So it's clear he's a bartender. He's just trying to get his beer served here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's fun. It's a fun little theme. You, you just give the patrons a beer. I like it. You know, everything else like games of this time seem kind of abstract. You know, you're just shooting blo enemy blobs. This is kind of <laughs> a more positive spin, I guess. You're not shooting people, you're serving them ice cold <coughs> root beers. Excuse me. Sorry, a little sick for this. Now, there's one cool little mechanic here where you go and actually can go get the tip, which I thought was kind of funny. Oh, look at the little dancing ladies. See, that's that's sneaky. That's uh, that, that's cool. Though. You know, it's not like it's just this. You know, he was just uh, not looking at the bar. So obviously, I missed that. But you know, it just adds a little nice element of uh, depth to it, the game. You know, you can't just throw it when you see it. You gotta um, pay attention. Let's go. Oh. Hey, look at that. Um, uh, yeah, the scoring is nice. I mean, you know, it looks like we got uh, 5,700 points. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Oh, hey, look, a little fun little minigame. Shaking up the beers. And I have to pick it up. I'm guessing I have to pick out the one who didn't shake up. But I was... I am not too sure on this, so I'm just going to... Oh, <laughs> that's great, man. This is, this is adorable. <laughs> now, the other one I played actually had um, Budweiser as sponsored, so, you know, I think this is just the early days of, um, you know, they switched it to Budweiser, from Budweiser to Root Beer, because, you know, I think they made the right choice in marketing to kids, and uh, you've got Budweiser. Um, sponsoring a game, that's probably no good. So, the Swiss root beer, that's good. All in all, this is just a great fun game. Um, you know, and I think it's the one that really holds up the best, in my opinion. Uh, you know, it's got clever mechanics, the graphics are nice, you can, nice and crisp, you can see what's going on, and, uh, you know, it's relatable, it's easy. Hey, you're serving people beers. It's all, it's, uh, Pretty fun ride. I enjoy it. Uh, you know, and yeah, I can see people playing this. I, you know, I'm a current gamer, and I still enjoy playing that. So anyway, that's beer tapper.